All right, so I'm going to do a quick demo of how to use Audacity and how to uh, edit your audio in Audacity to remove your background noise, as well as how to run the final file through Levelator to um, just kind of increase the production quality of that audio. And so the first thing you want to do when you pull up Audacity is go to Audio Setup. Make sure that you are uh, pulling in the right source. Um, so I'm using a Blue Snowball microphone. You want to make sure you're not using your, your inbound um, uh, audio device on your laptop. Make sure you're connected to the right one. If it's not showing here, then you have to basically close down Audacity and open it back up, and that will usually fix it. Um, don't really use any of that. There's also, you can play around with mono recording or stereo. Um, I used to get, um, some background noise from my fan on my laptop as well. Um, somebody recommended changing to the mono and so I've had it set to that for quite a while without it, without as many issues. And so if you're having problems with one, try the other. Um, there are a couple options there that can impact things. Uh, make sure before you start recording that you silence your laptop for notifications. Um, if you're getting emails or Teams pings or anything like that. So you don't have to start over. And then we will just go ahead and do a test um, thing here. So I don't, I don't mess with anything up here yet. I'm just going to do my audio. So test, test, one, two, three. Another thing I want to do is leave plenty of room at the beginning of the clip so that I can accurately run a test for the background noise. And so right here, I didn't leave a whole lot of room right there. I'm going to try this and start this all over. So I can control Z to undo. And when I press go this time, I'm going to stay quiet for about three seconds before I say anything so I can accurately analyze that background noise. Test, test, one, two, three. Okay, so let's say that that was my audio clip that I wanted. I'm now going to choose that background area. So just drag your thing over to that background area, get a little area to go in there. And then you're going to go to Effect, Noise Removal and Repair, and then Noise Reduction. Click that, and then click noise, Get Noise Profile. And it's going to analyze the noise, the background noises that are being created by, you know, maybe your fan, your ceiling fan, maybe the fan from your laptop and any other things that are kind of uh, going on in the background. And it'll try to then um, remove them. And so the next step in this is to control A. I'm basically going to be removing that background noise, but I want to remove it from the full clip. And so control A and then control R applies that background noise removal. And so sometimes you'll do it once, sometimes you'll do it a couple times until you, you basically just want to listen to it and see if you hear any background noise. Test, test. test. One, two, now it sounds pretty good. I could also apply it again by just doing control A, control R again. Now it's applied that background removal again and it should keep, come over even crisper. I typically, just like as a best practice, apply, apply it twice. Um, but depending on your setup, you might find that you're consistently applying it, you know, one time or maybe it's three times. It's gonna be different for each person's setup. And so once you've done that, um, that has removed the background noise. Now I can cut my clips so I don't need all this extra space up here. So I can just highlight it and then backspace or delete. I can also, let's say, test. I don't want that, you know, kind of um, where it's drawing out my word there. Let's say I don't want that. 
um, or I don't want this little click right here at the end. I can highlight just that little piece and then I can use this piece up here which silences the audio selection. So anything right there is going to be silenced completely. So let's listen to the difference. Test. Test. <laughs> well, you didn't get the end of my T. But you see here, then you see where that might come into um, play if you had like a mouse click that didn't get picked up by the noise remover all the way. Um, then you could go in and just kind of click that mouse click and then silence that audio selection. A lot of times also if, if say I'm listing something out and so I'm saying, um, you know, listing out a few things and I want there to be clear visible space um, in between each one where there's no background noise. So I want this space to be here because maybe I'm listing something. Um, but there's still maybe a little background noise, I might use that in between each space just to make sure they're really crisp. Um, but that's not a necessity typically. Okay, so maybe I'm going to cut the end of my clip, maybe cut out this long part in the middle because maybe I had to take a breather right there. Um, same thing here, maybe I just don't need all those spaces. And so let's say this is my final cleaned up audio clip. I'm now going to save it, or sorry, export it. I usually export as a WAV file. Put wherever you're gonna put it. Let's put this on here. Save. And then the next thing you're gonna do is open up a program called Levelator. If I can get it to come over here, Levelator. Okay, it's also a free program and I am going to pull up my WAV file. And all I do is I take my WAV file that I've got here on my desktop. I'm going to drop it into the levelator. It's going to do its thing. And then it's going to pop one right back out. And it's now called wave.output. Let me just drop these right here. And then you can hear the difference between them. So here's our original. Test, test, one, two, three. Here's the original, now here's with Levelator. Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test. So you can see it very visibly brings a higher production quality to that final audio clip. That is it, easy peasy. Let me know if you have any questions, bye.